This is Phelps, and he is probably the luckiest dog in Chicago, and that's because he's got it pretty easy. All he does is really eat and sleep and bark here at Metropolitan Brewery and Company when someone's at the door to let the owners know. Now, he doesn't drink the beer necessarily, but there are plenty of people in Chicago that do. We love beer. We love working for ourselves. We worked many, many years to pull this together, to be able to do this day in and day out. We seriously lead a charmed life. Since 2008, Doug and Tracy Hurst have been brewing up handcrafted beer at their warehouse brewery in the Ravenswood Industrial Corridor on the north side. Metropolitan Brewing is one of only a handful of local breweries in Chicago and is part of a movement that's bringing back Chicago's beer culture after Prohibition knocked out more than 50 breweries in the city years ago. We should have 30 operating breweries in this city. Timing is on our side because people are more concerned these days about what they're eating and drinking and where it's coming from. The goal was to sell 700 barrels of beer in Metro's first year. They sold over 1,000. They say the key to their success is freshness. They won't ship beer outside of the Midwest. The Dynamo Copper, Flywheel Bright, and Crankshaft Loggers are only available in Chicago and the eight surrounding counties in the Chicagoland area. Beer is perishable. We don't really think about that so much, but it doesn't really go bad and make you sick, but it starts to taste stale. If you can get beer that's brewed closer to home, it's always going to be tastier and brewed by somebody in your neighborhood. People in Chicago have sharp palates. We like quality made stuff. I'm not surprised that people were responsive to a locally made crafted beer. Owner and head brewer Doug Hurst got a taste to brew his own lager after attending Chicago's Siebel Institute of Technology, the oldest brewing school in the nation. He flew to Munich, Germany to study the art of brewing there and learned a very important lesson. In Germany, I learned how great lager beers taste when they're fresh. We were drinking Hockershore, Palaner, Spaten, all the same beers that we get as imports here. So when I came back, I thought, you know, those imports are great when you're in Germany, but we need something like that here. So that's kind of what led us in the direction to do what we're doing now. To their knowledge, Metro is the only brewery out of the 1,500 in the nation that does not make an IPA or India Pale Ale. Aside from focusing solely on lagers, they say what surprises locals the most about Metropolitan Brewing is the size of their operation. In addition to Doug and Tracy, there's just one full-time employee and an intern to brew, bottle, and keg the handcrafted beer. We decided to visit the warehouse on bottling day to see just how this small-scale brewery turns out big bottles of beer. Metro bottles up their freshly made lagers one to two times a week. Jess Stryka is at the very start of the line, applying labels on the bottles one by one, which today is Dynamo. So do you look forward to bottling days? I like them, actually. It goes by pretty fast. You definitely get to see the finished product, feels good. And it all starts here at this station. So you can put the bottle here, it'll sit. When you press the foot pedal, it will release the label. And that's fine, and just set it down, put the next one. I mean, it's just getting that flow. And like this one would be a little low, so I would just put it aside. So proper label placement is crucial, otherwise it gets thrown out. You can reuse the sticker, it's not gonna be ruined. Okay, so it's, it's not like a bad egg in Willy Wonka oh, where no. it's just done. We just recycle the sticker and reuse the bottle. Jess puts me to work at the labeling machine. Oh, look at that, it just nice. Kind of takes over for you. Mm -hmm. And then you just hit that pedal there. Ah, perfect. All right. First try. And we have Beautiful. our label bottle of beer, and then we just keep going, right? Yep, keep on going. So how many bottles a day do you do when you're having a bottling day here? Oh my gosh, math. Three to four thousand okay. bottles. That's a lot. Wow. Of, a lot of times to do this per day. Once the bottles are labeled, they're filled up with the good stuff. Doug is manning the filling and capping machine. We're proud that we're able to get this machine running. It's very finicky, requires a lot of maintenance, and it's very small compared to other breweries. It takes us about four or five hours to bottle what Anheuser-Busch does in 10 minutes. What can he do? It works for us. Doug sanitizes the bottles before putting them in and then watches them like a hawk. I usually bring out my flashlight. If you put a light here, it's easier to see the bottles filling. I can make sure that they're filling properly and that they're even. It's a pretty easy job. I really think you should do it. Get to work. I discover it's a job that requires some level of dexterity. Oh no, 
There you go. So no bottle of beer is going to be half full under my watch of Chicago. You're going to get your full bottle of beer. Tracy is not far at the other end of the machine, drying and packing the bottles away. The bottles are coming out at you and you have to pay attention to the fill levels. You're also making sure that they're coming off with caps because this is an old machine. Sometimes they come off without caps on them. And then when the machine is running full bore, you want to be sure that you don't have too many bottles coming off here. And then it's like Lucille Ball and you got to open it and drink them all. No, I'm kidding. Sounds like a job I'd like to take a go at. This looks like the most intense job. And uh, I don't want this whole machine to go down. Safety first, always. It's hard to work the bottling line with a shard of glass in your eye. Yep. There you go. Stomp them off on the... Dry these babies off. So they're essentially getting a nice bath before they are uh, packaged up. Oh, take a good look at that one. You got some lows oh, there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'll get those uh -oh. out of the way. Oh, that's not good. That's no good. That's not good. Somebody's gonna have to drink this. Yeah, we'll drink these. Chris, the intern, is the last pair of eyes to make sure the bottles are full and capped. When I put that stamp on it, we're basically saying, we stand behind this beer, we made it, we're sure you're gonna like it if you give it a shot, and send it off into the world. So with Chris at my side, we inspect the last box, seal it and stamp it, and add it to the beer box tower. Oh yes, and the boxes must face the same direction. That better? Perfect. Seal of approval? Perfect. It's been a long day here at Metropolitan Brewing Company of production work, but we think it was well worth it. I'm about to try the Dynamo beer to see if it was. Let's give this baby a try. Mm. All right, well, it is true about what they're saying. The Chicago beer, fresh, right off of the production line, it's pretty good. So if you want a taste test and a tour of your own, Metropolitan Brewing offers tours of their warehouse about four times a month. Just check out the website. As for the future, they don't plan on opening a pub or a restaurant, but to keep their focus on making high quality beer. They do want to ship off to more markets outside of the Chicagoland area to incorporate all of Illinois, Minnesota, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. In the meantime, they're enjoying every drop and every minute being a Chicago brewery. I think we need three or four more breweries in Chicago. I'm tired of drinking stale imports. <laughs> We're Chicagoans. We're do-it-yourselfers. We love to work hard. I'll probably take one with me to the grave. <laughs>